Hello guys, this is the Wise Monkey here, and welcome to day seven of Chris Tomlin's Never Lose Sight devotional. <coughs> so in this devo, sorry, this devotional day was late, guys, but here it is: the Glory Be devotional from Chris Tomlin on his Never Lose Sight devotional of day seven. In the Christian tradition, we have a simple hunt in them a phrase called the doxology. Churches and demons sing or regularly different versions of the doxology, but the purpose is the same to the praise the turn God, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, God, the glory be to God, the Son, Glory be to God the Spirit. The word doxology comes from the Greek words doxa, which means glory or logica, which means saying glory at God's creation. This is what we are made to do. Say glory or in other words worship. We praise God with our words, with our lives, and with our whole being. Praise awaits you at the dawn of. Praise awaits you in the night. With the heavens I will sing and lift you high. The wonders of God with his creation and power, as well as his forgiveness and mercy, call forth songs of joy. They cause us to want to worship. Worship isn't something we do out of obligation, but rather in response to who God is and what he has done. As Psalms 65 says, Praise await you, our God in Trion. To you our vows are, will be fulfilled. You will who answer prayer. To you all people will come. The earth, whole earth is filled with awe in your, at your wonders. Where morning dawns, with, where even fades, you call forth songs of joy. Even says that in Psalm 65, 1 to 2, 8. In worship, the focus is not on ourselves and our circumstances, but on the one who is above worship. <clears throat> Unlike any other act, reminds us of who God is, the one who is and was and is to come. For that we say the doxology, we say glory, Glory be to God forever, all glory to the one, as it was and is and ever shall be. Amen. Also, to listen to the best Chris Salmon on the Overflow Christian Music Service, please visit, and I'll give you that link down below in the description, guys. Psalm 65, 1-2 What mighty praise, O God, belongs to you in Trion? We will f fulfill our vows to you, for you answer our prayers, and all of us must come to you. Psalm 65, 8 Th Those who live at the ends of the earth stand, and out of you, your wonders, from where the sun rises to where it sets, you inspire shouts of joy. And that is actually the end of day seven, guys. Goodbye. Please subscribe and have a like down below for a banana.